great Caesar's ghost look at this place. So Penny's a little messy. A little messy? The Mandelbrot set of complex numbers is a little messy. This is chaos. Excuse me. Explain to me an organizational system where a tray of flatware on a couch is valid. And I'm just inferring that this is a couch because the evidence suggests the coffee table's having a tiny garage sale. Did it ever occur to you that not everyone has the compulsive need to sort, organize, and label the entire world around them? No. Well, they don't. Hard as it may be for you to believe, most people don't sort their breakfast cereal numerically by fiber content. Excuse me, but I think we've both found that helpful at times. <laughs> Come on, we should go. Hang on. What are you doing? I'm straightening up. Sheldon, this is not your home. No, this is not anyone's home. This is a swirling vortex of entropy. <laughs> when the transvestite lived here, you didn't care how he kept the place. Because it was immaculate. I mean, you open that man's closet, it was left to right evening gowns, cocktail dresses, and his police uniforms. What were you doing in his closet? I helped him run some cable for a webcam. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, honey, this just arrived. We just brought this up. Just now. Great. Was it hard getting up the stairs? No. No? No. No. <laughs> no we'll, we'll get out of your hair. OK, great. Thank you again. Penny, <clears throat> I just want you to know that you don't have to live like this. I'm here for you. What's he talking about? It's a joke. I don't get it. Yeah, he didn't tell it right. 